Welcome today. We're so glad you stopped by. You are watching David and Cindy Murdoch on Are You Living Life? Absolutely. I'm glad you're here, baby. Oh, I'm glad you're here, sweetie. And you know, we have such a passion for people to live life. So that's why the program's called Are You Living Life? Because that is our question to you today. Are you living life? And if they're not, then you need to begin. <laughs> and if you watch us continuously, week after week, you're going to learn what we're about, communication, relationships, yeah. and uh, oh, you look beautiful today. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank I'm glad you. you come joined us on our show. We, I stole her from another show. You may have seen her from <laughs> another show because you're probably looking at her and said, where have we seen this woman? Yeah, I, I co-host so, with Joni Lamb on Table Talk. Table Talk, yes. and love that. I love talking about issues and topics of life, and just like we're going to be talking about today, you know, uh, baby, if we realize everything is accomplished through communication, everything is accomplished. Everything. And um, so if we don't know how to communicate effectively, it will affect our success in life. It will affect our success yes. with our family, uh, with our friends, our social life, and uh, in our professional life. Yes, it will. You know, and it's... Uh it's a major thing, you know. I grew up not wondering about myself because uh, I have a brother who's a world-class communicator. <laughs> Everybody knows, and I mean, he really is. Yeah. And it's like I seem like I was just the opposite. I didn't communicate. I wasn't. Seemed like I was unsociable. So I can't even talk some days. She has to correct me. Hey, but, uh, it's we're all right, good. baby. You're doing good. <laughs> but uh, you know, and this is how you know you go through life and. And we just think we don't take the time, we don't understand each mm -hmm. other. And we have really uh, begun to work this out mm -hmm. since we've been married, you know. <clears throat> we have. We have. Um, you know, you were talking about you were more quiet and maybe not as sociable. And so a lot of times what happens is uh, people, even growing up as children, are made to feel like there's something wrong with them. Yeah. And so they yes. go through life not understanding themselves or others. And, you know, I, I like statistics, and I know there are a lot of people that like statistics. And so since we're talking about communication and relationships today, do you know that it has been said that 80% of all management problems come from the lack of being able to communicate or uh, faulty communication? And some of the best known uh, marriage counselors, leading marriage counselors, have said 90% of all marriage problems and divorces are because they don't know how to communicate, lack of communication, or it's not effective the mm -hmm. way they communicate. Mm -hmm. And then criminologists have said that 90% of all criminals have difficulty communicating with others. So when I look at these statistics and these percentages, we definitely have a communication problem. Well, we do, don't we? We re 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 really do. You know, and that's why we're passionate about communication and relationships. And uh, we got into this uh, between us. It may not look like we have over 65 years of marriage experience. Wow, you, baby, you wow, have I didn't know you kept that yourself old. well. <laughs> <laughs> we, we come from second marriages, and uh, we've been married over a little five and a half years mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And so uh, we understand the difficulties that you have in uh, relationships. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, your uh, number one problem can be because lack of communication, just like you was reading about the stats here. Exactly. Is people do not communicate. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, you know, we think, uh, talking about us and we want you to know about us and where mm -hmm. we stand where you have an understanding we're not just coming here and say oh they got such a perfect marriage and you're living in a horrible marriage I understand that yeah. you know mm -hmm. and so we're we want to come in, to you and we want to talk about ourselves today mm -hmm. we do. we're going we to talk do. about how uh, well, where we, we went through counseling mm -hmm. you know premarital counseling mm -hmm. I didn't want to go through pre premarital counseling no, you didn't. I can remember, you know, thinking to myself, and because you was trying to, okay, baby, let's, let's do, this. do this. This is the right thing, the smart thing to do. <laughs> and it was like, why? 
I mean, I had, I knew what I wanted. I hadn't quite got to the 50 mark yet. I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I knew it all. Yeah. You know, but it's funny how you began to, and out of my love for her. See, all mm -hmm. I knew is that I, I, I loved you. Right. That I was, remember you saying that. You know, it's like yeah. I didn't understand. I had a, a three kids. Three children, you know, they were uh, had grandchildren. You know, like, it's who's like who's going to tell me? Who's going? What do I need to I know? Something I don't already you know. know right? I was married 28 years previously. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. like I know about marriage, mm -hmm. you know, and just things happen, things fall apart, whatever. Yeah. You know, and so we took this uh, profile. You got me to take this profile, mm -hmm. and it was the uh, from Life Language Institute mm -hmm. Kindle Life Language Profile. Mm -hmm. And this is how our we began down right, this road. Right. But uh, when I took this profile, I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it said so many different things. You know, it talks about your communication right. styles. Right. It's and not a personality test. It's not anything like that. It's just a communication analysis tool profile. Right, that, right. That it kind of tells you how you communicate. Mm -hmm. You don't, In your personal uh, and professional life. Right. And we all have these languages, mm -hmm. and we communicate out of these, you know, right. these languages. We have a first on through the seventh. And I'm not trying to get on that today. No, right. It's, uh, but you'll it's find out I do. jump down, <laughs> when I jump down a, a rabbit trail, she can plan. She'll have me stuff. Okay, this is what you got to follow. And all yeah. of a sudden, I'll jump off down the well, road. Well, it you know? helped us get on the, the road and the adventure of our life together. And it let yeah. us know we yeah. really didn't know everything. We really didn't know it all. And that there really was a way to learn to, to effectively communicate with each other and understand the differences. Right. And so we went through this marriage counseling. <laughs> and it was, <laughs> it was an experience. Well, we took the profile, and I did like it. I really did. I mean, it was, like, very impressive mm -hmm. to me. And I thought that was it. Yep. But no. No. <laughs> she wanted me to go to premarital counseling. Now it's like, I was, I thought I was pretty successful. And you were. You know, I thought and things were going along. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you want to ask me to go to premarital counseling? <laughs> I actually got an app, you know, I copped yeah. an attitude about it. Yeah, you Do did. you remember that? I remember that very well. <laughs> so it was like, it was, uh, it was one of these things that, you I, did it because you loved me, so you were willing to. I, that's right. I did it because I loved you. Right. And uh, I mean, and I still love you, <laughs> even though you put me through that. <laughs> but do you remember that first yeah. day we went went there? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> that was rough. But I what can feel it was, the tension <laughs> in the room. <laughs> they took <laughs> this profile mm -hmm. as part of the, and it, like I said, it was it's a, it's a great thing. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Yeah. But I didn't like what they had to say. Do you remember? I remember. Oh, the things we went through. Yeah. On that. They weren't real encouraging. No. It w for us as a couple because of what they saw in the analysis of how we communicated. So they knew it was going to be an effort and a, and a choice that you and I both made to communicate right, right. together. So. Right, because... One thing I didn't realize at the time, because mm -hmm. I liked it, I have what we call action language. Mm -hmm. I'm you kinetic in the yeah. top. I speak with action. And then my s way it filters out, my second language is, you know, I go into thinking. So I'll act first. And while I'm in the process of acting, mm -hmm. I will begin to think. And then from that thinking, I will begin to feel. Now, the feeling may come a day later, <laughs> you know. So it's like my emotives are very low. Mm -hmm. Well, Cindy's just the opposite. She feels first. Uh -huh. So it was like a learning thing. And, and the counselor, Fred, Fred mm -hmm. Kendall of Life mm -hmm. Languages, he was, he was concerned. He knew that we loved each other. Right. And that there was not going to be any issues over our love. But what about six months down the road? eight months down the road and you know uh it's because all i knew i was in love but you know it gets to a place in time you know when you're i got this 
I'll have to tell you all about it someday. I wrote this book. Makes me think of that song. What's love got to do yeah, with it? Yeah, what's love got to do with it? You know, what <laughs> really? What, what it, you thinking, know? That's yeah. like, uh, you know. <laughs> but it was like it was when they were getting it stressful, mm -hmm. and I've noticed this, and this is where everybody. You think about it. Think about people you work with, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, children. You think about when everything is good, everything's going good, there's really no problem in communication. Yeah. And, you know, because you just, because everything's going good. But bring some strife into it, bring mm -hmm. some stress into mm -hmm. it. All of a sudden, you bring other ingredients into it, and then it's like, wow. You know, you, you probably have, uh, going to bed loving somebody and you wake up the next day everything's and you don't even feel feel that you wonder where did it go <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know well that's yeah. one thing I learned about mm -hmm. these life languages mm -hmm. this is what was going to happen in our stress mm -hmm. exactly and that's often what happens in a relationship David marriages and families is stress you know life happens mm -hmm. what can I say yeah. life yeah. just things happens happen. and things happen and so under a lot of distress and stress, we begin to act out or begin to communicate in that distress in a way that um, can be very destructive. And so when people don't uh, understand what's going on or how to communicate effectively, it throws people right, often into right. that stress. And um, wow, that's a lot of times when marriages, people decide to go the other way, we yes. can't make it. Children and parents have so much conflict. People on the job walk off the job, and then you, you know, you hear crazy things that go on in the workplace when people oh, get into to so much distress. And you and I, um, when stress entered the picture, we, you know, because we had blended family, I would say, or you know, right. we had my children, right. grandchildren, your children, grandchildren. Well, they the stress in entered the picture that day in counseling. Oh goodness. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should go back you know, to that moment. You know, re it did. remember? remember I, I, I and walked. you could feel it in the room. Oh, my goodness, if Walls could talk. Oh, I just, what, <laughs> what he was saying, you know. Because you knew you loved me. We knew that's we all loved I each knew, other. And know? so for someone to be then um, bringing things to our, uh, confronting us. Right, and he was going by this profile, mm -hmm. you know, this mm -hmm. that I had taken. I had chosen the answers uh -huh. and what it said, and I had even liked what it said. Exactly. <laughs> and I liked what it said about you. Mm -hmm. oh, and I, I love what it said it. about you, yeah. But then we go, and he used this profile to point out the differences of where you're going to have issues. Yeah. And yeah. I resent it. And it was because it was like at that moment in our life, we didn't entertain the thought that we might have issues. Right. And most well, people no. don't when I mean, they're in love and they want to be together for the rest of their life. They're not thinking too much about what, how will we handle issues when they arise. I know, you know, I just knew I wanted to be with you. You'd run me off at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. We'd be watching a movie <laughs> <laughs> and said, you got to get home. People, people are going to see your car out front. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she was, you was a worship leader. Yes. You know, and I worked in a major ministry, you know, managing it. Mm -hmm. and, where we was yeah. headed, and yeah. it was like, hey, I was in love. I didn't have no issue. Yeah. What was the problem? I didn't care what people thought. But you be in a, a feeling language, yes, kind of. You I worried cared. about what people yes, would think, what it would. And me, yeah. I did. Hey, I did. and it so mattered. I didn't even understand all that was yeah. going on mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. I just knew I loved you. But as the council began to work with us. Mm -hmm. And that, well, well, I went one day. <laughs> I refused to go back. <laughs> you did. You said, I, you know, I just need you to know I will not be coming back. I did. And this was my, this was so funny. I can remember, I can remember how I felt. And I'm sitting there and I tell you, I told you, I said, this is all I know is that I want to marry you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to marry me, that's it. I'm out of here. Now I can hear everybody now say, oh, I'd have left them in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this is what took place. Of course, it worked on you because mm -hmm. you felt and you wanted it to be good. You love me. Yes, yes. But I know that there were some concerns that mm -hmm. you didn't recognize or see yet. Right, yes. You know, but that they was pointing out that would happen mm -hmm. in stressful times. Yeah. You know, we never think about what ifs. We don't. 
not you know. in any way do we think about that. And um, so it was a journey. It was. I have two marriage Sometimes licenses, Sometimes an by adventure. We got <laughs> Honey, are you going to tell I, everything? I want everybody to know <laughs> us. I mean, if we're going to sit here and we're talking about living life, relationship, right. communication, yeah. Yeah. it's not been easy. We went, got a marriage license, mm -hmm. and I'll be if you didn't talk me out of getting married. <laughs> it yes. wasn't me that stopped it. You stopped it. I did. And so you wanted... I just thought we needed more time. More time. For and many then, reasons. And then for she wanted reasons. this big <laughs> wedding. She wanted mm -hmm. to invite a bunch of people. I did. I didn't understand that. And if you'll continue to watch us week after week, All you of this will, will learn make sense it eventually. will make sense down the road. Yeah. It, it really will. Because yeah. over the, the next several weeks, coming weeks, we're going to start talking about communication styles yes. and individual mm -hmm. life languages. Because you didn't understand that about me. Right. And I didn't understand why you thought and felt the other way. Well, no. You know, I did, had no clue. You know, it's just one of them things. I lost my So did one of those marriage license work? No, it expired. <laughs> it did expire. <laughs> it, it, it expired. It's sitting in our closet. You, it's you know expired. what? I put you through a lot, didn't I? Oh. You see uh -huh, these gray hairs? <laughs> look, look up close. I want y'all to look at these gray hairs. <laughs> Were you black-headed when of we course. met? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't give you all those gray hairs. <laughs> no, I have some children that did. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, a lot of it is is one of the things too is I wanted to just run away to Las Vegas yeah, and get did. married. Mm -hmm. I had a friend of mine mm -hmm. who was going to pay for the plane ticket uh -huh. to go. Yep. And uh, it was like, that's all I wanted. But then all of a sudden you wanted it. And I wanted it a big celebration. You wanted a big and celebration. everybody to be a part of, of our life. And, and I think a lot of it is uh, different things we need from people, different our different makeups and who we are and how we communicate, oh. how we filter everything. But yeah, I, I need, I needed everybody. Oh, I know, and I didn't understand that, at all. Yeah. I mean, I just. I need, I wanted it to be a party, a big deal, big. Do celebration. you remember the day of our wedding, oh, and you got a phone goodness. call? Oh <laughs> You know, it is like about time for the ceremony, the wedding to begin. It wasn't what maybe. Thirty minutes yeah. before. And someone asked, had I talked to you? And I, I was already there getting ready, and I said, well, no. And they said, well, we just saw him going that direction on his motorcycle. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know if you had, you were the runaway groom. I did not know what in the world to expect. I just had to get out I just the hoped when the music started, you were going to be down there waiting. You know, that push to get mm -hmm. married, all of a sudden, my feeling <laughs> caught up with me. <laughs> my feeling caught up with me an hour before, and yeah. I got very nervous. I got to myself, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. And I, had, I got on my motorcycle, and I got on interstate. Oh, <laughs> goodness. I, just, I had to just get in the wind, you know, just to, okay, breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Uh, Mr. Know-it-all had to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> knew it all. <laughs> well, I knew what I wanted at exactly. that time, you know. Exactly. And so... And we do. We get we get married, and it's like it's. Uh, and we began our our journey, our mm -hmm. adventure. Yeah, we did, baby. First, I'd say it's probably four or five months. Everything was mm -hmm. good. Then, you know, we we get into routine of being married and life, and we're doing mm -hmm. things. And then we begin to notice differences. Right. Yeah, I, I think probably there were moments and you thought... You weren't the woman I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it for you, but you did. <laughs> but yeah, I think there were moments you thought, wow, where's the girl I married? And I think there were times I thought about that with you when yeah. conflict and stress would come and, and you would begin to communicate in a way that I didn't recognize. And I would think, wow, where is this guy that... I'm his queen. I'm everything to him in life. So, yeah... The, the journey That's, and the adventure began. This is what, when the, what the counselor, I guess, had was talking mm -hmm. about, when things began to be different, yeah. you know. And, uh, and it was like, you didn't change. I really didn't change. It's just we mm -hmm. kind of brought stress that brought some stress into the yeah. environment, the equation. And then it seems like we appear. But what it is, we have 
communication style is the way we communicate. Mm -hmm. Now, remember I said I was action-oriented. I, I speak, uh, I act first. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, you know, uh, and you feel first. Mm -hmm. So there was things I didn't understand about whenever the stress come in mm -hmm. that I was seeing because I was wanting to act on things. Yeah. And I just needed to feel and felt really deep. Everything that happened, I felt it so deeply. And you know, baby, as we um, worked and on our relationship, worked on our marriage, worked on communicating, I think one of the scriptures that was so huge to us early on in our marriage was in Matthew when Jesus was saying, in Matthew 22, uh, when they were trying to find out from him, you know, what is the greatest commandment? You know, what is the thing we need to do, Jesus? I'm, I'm keeping all of these laws. And Jesus said, well, you know, there's two. Love the Lord God, first of all, with all your heart, your strength, your mind, your soul, your, all of you. And then second, which is likened to the first, love others as you right. love yourself. Oh, yes. and, and, and Jesus said, everything in the scripture hangs on these two. It's like they're a peg and everything hangs on these two scriptures. And so I think we knew in this marriage and relationship and journey and adventure mm -hmm. that we had to come to the place of loving each other as we loved ourselves, and that we were willing to learn whatever it took mm -hmm. to be able to communicate effectively. I, you know, and I think that that is a key. I mean, we can all have different communication mm -hmm. styles and know nothing about them. You exactly. know, I mean, to be effective, you know, that's just, but if we could go back to them scriptures, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. uh, just to love one another, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you realize them two commands that Jesus spoke about, that if we would do them, I mean, literally, but no, I'd rather not lie, I'd rather not kill, I'd rather not yeah. steal, but do I have to love? Really? Just think about that. Just think how that doesn't mean stress isn't going to come into play. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that, husband, when you come, you come home and your wife is, hey, the kids, and you've been working, you feel stressed, just thinking your wife has been there. Mm -hmm. And you're going through all these issues and problems with life, right. relationships, and how, uh, I mean, I, I, I wake up days to this day, I wake up mad at the world, don't know why. Just, just things happen, and you have to choose. You choose yes. to bring yourself back to that point and place. Mm -hmm. And the, the scriptures, it's like, okay, I do believe in God, mm -hmm. but I know Jesus came that I would have life and give it to us more abundantly. Um, yes. But he said, do these two things. You just do these mm -hmm. two things. And everything else will work out. And everything work out. So we can learn to go back, and that's one of the things that began to start with us, is I had to choose to go back. Okay, I had, yeah. to, you know, I had to love you like Christ loved the church. And I love that about you. You know, you so it, it had, it, I had to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. He said to do that. So I have to pull yeah. out of our differences, your feeling language, this is what's so neat. Her feeling language is, is about in the 90s. 90s. Mm -hmm. My feeling language is, I have, there's two feeling languages, what we call an influencer and responder. Mm -hmm. They're at the bottom. Yeah, I think it's a six. Yeah, I have to crawl up <laughs> the ladder. <laughs> but, you know, it's amazing because, like you said, the Word of God is life. Oh. And when you've got an emotive language that's that low, then the Word of God does a supernatural work within us. It does. That enables it, us and gives us the strength and ability yes. to love and feel those emotions and yeah. be sensitive to each other. Because you've heard the saying where people say, well, that's just not me. Right. That's not an excuse. That's not, they're, they're, that yeah, is not, not an, an excuse. excuse. No excuse. Yeah. None. Uh, because uh, just because my communication style, you know, is not responder, mm -hmm. you know, not that feeling, mm -hmm. I want it, I need it. Yeah. Because to give you a hint on what the responder language is, they're the merciful ones. Uh -huh. They're the one. They're mercy. Yeah. When you th think, well, I want mercy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and so uh, I have to learn to give mercy. Mm -hmm. I have to learn. Mm -hmm. I have to do that. 
But being a man of God, Jesus in my life, hey, you know, he, he says do it. He does. And you know, in um, Proverbs 18, 15, I love this scripture. It says, wise men and women are always learning, always listening for fresh insights. Hmm. Always learning. Will you say that again? Wise men and women are always learning and they're always listening to fresh insights. And that was in Proverbs 18, 15. Boy, it's talking about growth. You know, yeah. we were made to, always. to go forward for movement, mm -hmm. become more, yeah. you know. Wow, that's good. And we have, to, we have to choose to do that. We do. It's a choice that we make. And you know, David, we can't give what we don't have. Mm. You can't give what you don't have. So if, if we're to love each other and love others as we love ourselves, then you can't give and love others the way you're supposed to if you don't love yourself. And you know, we're going to talk about in some of the programs that will be coming in the future about that and how to learn, how do you learn to love yourself? How do you accept yourself? And we desire, David, to empower you. This is what this program is all about, to empower you to learn to communicate effectively with those that are around you, your spouse, your children. Homes are being so destroyed because of the inability to communicate with each other. People are, are not successful in their jobs, David, yes. because they don't know how to communicate. So our desire with our You Living Life program is to empower you that you will be an amazing, godly communicator and you will have a successful life in your professional life and your Personal. Boy, you do that good. <laughs> See, she is speaking what we call influencer language. Yeah. The influencer, right. the encourager. Like, I got excited. Good. It's like, hey, I can do <laughs> this. See, that's the reason I'm here today, because she said, you can do this. You have a lot to say. You, you have a lot to offer. You do. You can do this. You're the smart one. Ah, <laughs> ah. Well, I tell you, it's just, it's going to be, and we want you to go to our website, and uh, areyoulivinglife.com, and there is, I want you to start thinking about this because a lot of stuff we're going to be talking about, you're not going to really understand, but they've got a button that says take the KLLP. Mm -hmm. I want you to click on that button. Yeah. Take this profile. It's, it's, we got it for $30. It's a $45 profile. Mm -hmm. If you go to Life Language Institute, it's going to be $45. But you click off our, it'll be uh, $30. Yes. But... Uh, we're so glad that you stopped by and continue week after week and you'll get to know us. But till next time, we really uh, stay blessed, stay focused. We look forward to keep seeing moving you. forward.